What's something that I think is overpriced? Everything. Cash, peas, moolah, that's another one. I feel like that's very 2020. <laughs> My name is Quajo and I'm here to talk about money with calm and money supermarket. We're coming off of the back of a global pandemic and a cost of living crisis where the majority of the country has been financially impacted. Being open to talk about money and money struggles means that people no longer have to continue suffering in silence. We don't feel afraid to tell each other that we're broke. Instead of going out to have drinks or to eat, we'd just do it at home. We had to do it during lockdown, right? There was no going out and socialising like we were used to pre-pandemic. So we've been through it, we've had to do it. And um, it does save you money at the end of the day. I remember when I was a lot younger, my friends was a lot younger, going out with two pounds, you could go to the chip shop, for example, you could buy a meal with two, three pounds. Now that simply doesn't happen. Even like a box of cornflakes, you're looking at close to five pounds. The cost of food, transportation, the price of baby formula is just ridiculous. What I've also noticed, right, is some of these goods have increased in price, but the packaging's got smaller. There's a term for it, shrinkflation. The first thing that I bought with my own money was Leona Lewis's first album after she'd won the X Factor. <laughs> so random. <laughs> there most definitely is a time where I've spent money and regretted it, I think, several times, and it's often on takeaways. Bought it, paid for it, eaten it, and then regret paying the delivery price. I could have spent that amount of money on something else, and I know that's something that a lot of people are able to relate to. If I had a thousand pounds right now, I'd use it to pay my rent for next month and I actually would. <laughs> Skin, broke, struggling. If you're not sure if you're gonna be able to sort of continue paying your bills for the next few months, that puts a worry on you. Health is the most important thing, I think, to everyone. So when your mental health is impacted, it's hard to ignore it, and you shouldn't have to ignore it. Talking about money is like talking about your mental health. Once you do it, everything gets a little easier. There will be people in worse off situations. It doesn't mean your situation's okay, though. Everyone struggles at some point in time with money, money management, money struggles. It doesn't mean you shouldn't feel a type of way about it. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't worry or stress about it. It's a conversation that we all need to have because we all go through it. Because a lot of people are suffering in silence. If your money worries are getting you down, Calm has lots of stuff to help.